Hey guys, welcome back to 31 Days of Halloween. If you're new here, then welcome. My name is Pompberry, and I'm posting one video a day during the month of October. If you're already a subscriber, then welcome back. Today, I decided to do a super iconic character from one of my all-time favorite movies. If you haven't watched Spirited Away yet, I highly recommend it. So yeah, let's just jump right in. So I've already started out by blocking out my eyebrows. If you want to learn how to do that, I have a tutorial that I'm going to link up here and down below. Now time for the face. I'm going to start off with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color yellow just to cover up my blemishes. This step is obviously optional. My skin was just particularly bad that day, so I had to do this. But if you're going to be using a concealer under your white cream base, make sure that it's a type of concealer that really sets because you don't want it to mix in with a white. And this LA Girl Concealer is a very dry one, so it really, really sets and dries down. Then I'm going in with a Mayron Clown White Light and applying it with a damp sponge. Applying it with a sponge will make the application a lot more uniform, but be sure to really take your time with the step. White bases can be really, really hard. And if you've watched my other Halloween videos, I tried to do a different type of white base every time to give you guys options. So in some looks, I used a white face paint. This time I'm using white cream paint. So I'm trying to show you guys different options and different ways of achieving a white base because I know how hard it is to get a completely white canvas. Usually the best way to get flawless white skin is by airbrushing it, but I'm not about to sit here and airbrush my own face. I'm sorry. And you'll probably need to add more than one layer to this, so just take your time with building that opacity up. Now to set this, I'm going to be taking the Ben Nye Super White Powder on a big old powder puff, and I don't know how much I like this powder. I don't I don't think I like it. It usually leaves my face feeling really, really dry, and I don't think it has any true pigmentation to it. Like, I don't feel like it makes my base look any whiter when I apply it. So if you guys have any suggestions for other white powders, let me know in the comments below. And because, as I said, this doesn't really intensify the white, I'm going to go in with Sugar Pills Taco, which is their white matte eyeshadow, and I'm just applying it all over my face to make my base look more flawless and more opaque. And as you can see, I'm just patting the product on with a pretty dense brush so I can get maximum pigmentation from it. Then I'm going in with a wolf face paint in the color black to start drawing in his features. And a ton of you guys have been asking me where to get wolf face paints, and the answer is I'm sorry I don't know because they haven't been restocking anywhere. I don't know what's going on with the company. They released a statement that they're not going out of business, and yet they haven't restocked for over six months. So I have no idea. I'm sorry. But any black face paint will do. Mayron Paradise paints are great, but yeah. And for the lip shape, I'm just kind of extending my bottom lip. The lines that I'm drawing on the upper lip are just to make it look straight, if that makes sense. Then I'm going to be drawing his eyes where my eyebrows are. I'm doing this above my natural eyes because of his proportions. So I actually didn't like the placement of these and decided to clean it up with a little bit of makeup remover on a q-tip and I probably should have just left them the way they were but if you do need to clean anything up you can just go in with a q-tip and then go back in with that white cream paint on a little tiny brush powder it and you should be good to go but I don't know I was just being too much of a perfectionist with this probably could have left them there and they would have been fine I don't know why I'm like this then going back in with that black face paint, I am reducing the size of my chin, trying to get my face shape to be more similar to his, and just painting my neck and the outlines of my face to try to get that long, thin face effect. Then going in with the Snazaru face paint in the color lilac, I'm going to start drawing the detailing on his face. I'm starting with the line under his eye, and I'm making sure that the paint is really dry before I even attempt to open my eyes because I do not want this to transfer and ruin my pretty white base, okay? And because my lids are really oily, I'm going to powder it to make sure it doesn't move. And because I'm drawing the triangle under my eye, I'm painting my eyelashes with a face paint to try to make them blend in with a triangle as much as possible. Then I'm going to start drawing the triangle under my eye. Not much to it here, just following the reference image. And can I just take the time to say that after I spent like I don't know how many hours doing this makeup look, taking all the photos, doing everything, after I wiped it off, I realized that, um... I didn't do the little purple line under his mouth, and I kind of want to die. So, yeah. If any of you comment saying like, oh, she, she forgot the line under his mouth. I know. I'm, I'm aware. And I want to die every day because of it. So, that's just going to remind me how much I want to die. So, yeah, thanks for that. Then I'm also drawing the little triangle above his eye. Same thing, just following the reference. Not much to it. 
now it's time for his real mouth. I'm gonna go in with a wolf face paint in the color red, and I'm gonna start sketching out the shape of the mouth. So I wanted to make sure that it was open really, really wide so that you can see way deep inside it. You can see his big old tongue. And now I'm just thickening the outline because that's gonna be the gums. Once I'm happy with the shape of the mouth, I'm going in and filling the outline with black, just basically filling everything in. And I'm not painting my shoulders or arms because I'm gonna be covering that with a jacket later. So just paint as much as you need to. Then to make room for the teeth, I'm going to clean out the little spaces for them using a makeup wipe. And I'm doing this because if I apply the white face paint on top of the red one, it's going to mix and turn pink. And I definitely do not want his teeth to turn pink. And I know I could have done this by drawing the gums in this shape to begin with, but it's just easier to sketch it out and then do this, at least for me it is anyway. And then I'm taking the wolf white face paint and drawing in the teeth. I'm using a flat brush for this and I'm having to apply multiple layers to make sure that the white is really opaque, but make sure that each layer is dry before you go in and add a second one. And his teeth are pretty irregularly shaped. I thought that was really cool about this look was that the teeth weren't all perfect and all the same. It really gives a little, a little something to the look. You know what I mean? I was following a few different reference pictures for this, but feel free to draw in the teeth however you want. I feel that his teeth are very rounded off. They're not jagged, but they look menacing at the same time. I think because they are all kind of crooked and all kind of pointing different directions, it makes it a little bit more menacing, which is kind of cool. Once I'm done with the teeth, I'm gonna take the black on a small paintbrush and start drawing in his palette. Then I'm taking pink and purple face paint by Wolf to fill in his tongue. I'm starting with a base layer of pink all over. Then I'm adding the purple to start shading it in. I'm adding it more in the center of the tongue to create that kind of dip and the left side of the tongue to start giving it dimension. I'm also mixing that purple in with a red to start drawing in the gums between the teeth. And as you can see, this just helps define the teeth a little bit more. It cleans up those lines, it makes everything look really sharp. I'm also shading what would be the sides of his cheeks with that mixture. I'm adding more purple closer to the tongue. You can see it makes it look darker and I'm leaving it true red towards the outline of the mouth. Then I'm mixing red and black and applying it to the palette. Then I'm applying that red and purple mixture to the palette and mixing it with those black lines that I drew on before. And that's kind of why I drew them there so that I could mix in with the color that I was gonna apply after and help give it dimension and depth. Then as you can see here, I'm applying black to the ends of the teeth and blending that out. I don't want any harsh lines, but I do want to define them really well and give them dimension. I know that I'm saying dimension like 20 times, so hey, let's play a drinking game. Every time I say dimension, take a shot. Then I'm drawing those palette lines back in. And this just gives a kind of creepy tunnel effect to the throat. And then I'm shading the tongue even further, mixing the red and the black. And I think a little bit of the purple too. I just kind of mixed all the colors together to make this sort of maroon tone. Then going in with white on the areas that I want to highlight on the tongue. So basically anywhere that I didn't shade, I'm going to apply the white to to make it look extra plump. I'm also going to be highlighting the gums. I'm taking the white on a small detail brush and I'm tracing slightly around where the teeth connect to the gums. Just doing this all over and adding a bit of texture to the tongue by just patting my brush around with the white, just kind of dotting on some texture. Now I'm mixing the Mehron Clown White Light with a bit of the NYX SFX Cream Paint in black and I'm just trying to get a very light gray color as you can see and I'm going to be using this to shade the teeth. I wanted to use a cream color for this because you can blend it out a lot easier than face paint. The cream just glides. You can smudge and blend cream around and you can't do that with face paints. Once it dries, it sets. So I'm just applying this to the edges of the teeth and you can see here, it gives a really cartoony effect to them, but it also really helps with the dimension. And yes, I'm gonna keep saying that. I'm not gonna use other words. I'm not gonna say that it helps give volume to them. No, I'm gonna say dimension. Once that's done, you just need your costume. I just have a black headband on and I draped a cardigan over my head. So it kind of creates the shape of his body. And he's basically just a black blob anyway. So all you really need is just some black fabric you can drape over your head.
And because I wanted to use my hand in pictures, I painted it black. I would have worn a glove for this if I had one because it's way less messy and I can touch things without getting paint on them. So I recommend wearing a glove. If you don't have gloves and you do want to paint your hands, you can do it with face paint, but be aware that it comes off with water. So if you touch anything wet, it's going to come off. The only way to paint yourself in a way that it won't transfer is either with Pax paint, which is a glue-based paint. It is very heavy duty or with an alcohol-based paint, which only comes off with alcohol so it's water resistant and smudge proof but just go with gloves it'll be way cheaper and you won't have to remove it after and that's it i really hope you guys like this look i love doing it i absolutely love all of miyazaki's movies i'm a huge studio ghibli fan and i've gotten comments before about the way i say studio ghibli that's the way you're supposed to say it. I said Ghibli for years, and then I watched interviews with Miyazaki, and he calls his company Ghibli. So, although by that logic, the creator of the GIF called it a GIF, he can just f*** right off, as far as I'm concerned. This is a fairly simple costume, but getting accessories like a bath token makes it so much fun. The little gold nuggets as well. If you're at a party, you can just hand them out to people. Mm hmm and the mouth is obviously optional. This is just when he gets a little hungry, which is kind of all the time. But. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. I've been wanting to do this look for so long. Like, it's not even funny how long I've wanted to do this for. So I'm really happy I finally got to do it. Please let me know if you dress up like No Face or any other Studio Ghibli character for Halloween. I would love to see it. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.